In today's tutorial, let's learn how to do the faux popcorn cowl together. And this is faux popcorn, meaning it's really not a popcorn stitch. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. In today's tutorial, we are going to be working on a faux popcorn cowl, just like you see here. And in this cowl, it is so simple. It's not even funny. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the techniques. Today's tutorial um, is using uh, Peyton's Color Wool for this particular design. You see all of this. And this is uh, Peyton's Color Wool right here. Really amazing colors. And I've also put in this video Bernat Roving. And you can find those in massive retailers as well. And there's actually a little bit more more yarn on the Bernat Roving. But what is the main difference between the two brands? The Peyton's Color Wool is literally wool. It's 100% wool where this one here is 20% wool and then 80% acrylic. So there's a bit of a, a price difference between the two and of course uh, the, the way that they feel is slightly different. So here's an example of one of Daniel's uh, work in progress here of the Color Wool. Isn't that amazing? The yarn looks totally cool when it's all done up. So it depends on the kind of look that you would really want to go. The Peyton's Color Wool line is really quite uh, vibrant, uh, really fun uh, play on colors where the Bernat Roving is more solid colors than anything. So without further ado, let me uh, tell you a little bit about this project and see if this is up your alley. So for this particular pattern, you're going to need two balls of Peyton's Color Wool if you'd like to use this brand or you can use two balls of Bernat Roving. Choice is up to you. Well, you're also going to need an eight millimeter size L crochet hook today and this pattern can be customized depending on the person that is wearing it. And let me tell you a little bit about that. So as I promised in the very intro, this is faux popcorn. It looks like popcorn but it actually is a faux popcorn. It's just the way that the stitches are working out. Now this is all in sets of two. So it doesn't matter on the size of the person that's gonna wear it. You just have to go one, two, one, two, one, two in the chain and you can wrap it around your own neck and determine if you like if chain 56 is big enough for you just like you see here or you can make it smaller if you wanna do a smaller size child size and the height is really up to you as far as how far you want to go for that as well. For tutorial reasons, I am going to use the Bernat uh, Roving. It's easier to see the stitches than it is into the uh, variegated yarns that look like this. So we're going to, I'm gonna choose this funky little color down here and show you how to do this pattern. So here we have the Bernat Roving and I'm just going to create a slip knot and I'm going to assert my hook in. Now you'll see in the pattern that it says chain 56. So that's in sets of two. So if you wanna change the size, just keep going one, two, one, two until you get to the size that you would like. So if you'd like something more drapier, just remember that if you change the chain counts for this particular pattern, you will change the yarn quantities as well. So we're just gonna go one, two. And if you're gonna do the pattern, just go to 56. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two and one, two. So once you get all the way to the end of your chain, what you're just going to do then is just join it with a slip stitch to the beginning. Make sure that you uh, untwist this um, chain. So just make sure when you go to join it that it's not having any weird twist to it and just insert it into the very starting chain and yarn over and pull through. So obviously your chain will be a lot bigger but for demonstration reasons, I'm just going to make it nice and simple like this for today because the, this stitch is actually that simple. So the first round is the only round that's kind of on, on its own and then you're gonna repeat rounds two and three for the duration of this project. So to start round number one, we chain up one first and then right where we've just did the join, we're going to do one single crochet. And then the next one, we're going to do a treble crochet and the trebles are what creates the faux popcorn. So in order to do a treble, we wrap the hook twice and then going into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, and two, and two. So you see the difference of the single crochet versus this. So this is gonna make this squat down, creating a popcorn. So the next stitch that you're gonna run into then is a single crochet. So the only thing that you need to worry about on this particular one is that every other stitch is a single crochet and, the ev and every other one after that is a treble. So the next one is a treble. So wrap the hook twice and going into the next stitch or the next chain and treble. Okay, so the next one is a single. So you just gotta keep remembering to bounce back and forth between the two. And you're going to notice that the trebles are going to start doing popcorns on the back side of your project. So we just wrap the hook. So continue to go all the way around in your chain. Just every other one is a single crochet and the ones in between are a treble. So I'll meet you at the end of this re revolution and then we'll start round number two together. So then coming up all the way back around, here's a tip for you. So I hate 
crocheting and part of the project is in front of me like this. I like to make sure that it's going out. So I'm looking at the outside edge at all times and so this will make the popcorn appear on the inside but when you're done this project you just pop it out and just turn it around. So just kinda just flip it for yourself and it's just a lot easier to access instead of working over the existing project. Uh, once the first one is always kinda tough getting around but uh, that's what I would do. People ask me in emails um, how you do it is that you do the twist. You just gotta flip it. So very good and the last stitch if you've done your counts right will be a treble and the reason for it is that we started off with a single. And when you get all the way back around you wanna join it with a slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So right over here we're just going to join to the first single crochet that we started with. So I'm gonna flip it and make sure that it's just easier to access and now we're gonna move up to round number two. Now round number two and three are the repeat pattern for this whole thing. So if you remember the last time we started the round we did a single crochet. This time we're going to in round two always in round two we're going to chain up four which counts as a treble. So because we started single crochet in the row below this one starts as a single crochet or a treble on this one. So the next one here that you will run into okay will be um, a single crochet. So if you look at it there's a treble right there so the single crochet kind of sits on top of the of the trebles. So you're really all you're doing on this particular one is that you're just uh, reversing what's already there. So this one's a single so this time it's going to be a treble. So you just have to remember that it's the same thing it's just single treble, single treble, single treble all the way around. It's just if you're ever confused at any point you can just kind of look at what's underneath and just put in the opposite to what's above it. Okay and you're just gonna continue to go all the way around just like that. So single treble, single treble and just keep doing that. And again it'll appear the popcorns on the, the other side. So please do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of this revolution. So when you get all the way around the last stitch will be a single crochet because the fact is that you started off with the treble. So you're just going to join it to the top of the first chain four to finish off that revolution. So that's what it looks like so far on the inside but if you flip it you can see the popcorns are now on the outside. So let's uh, continue round number three, round number three. So it's two and three is the repeat. So last time we started off with the treble. This time in round three we start off with the chain one and we do one single crochet in the first one. So it's just opposite to what we've already done and the next one is a single crochet here. Okay, I'm just gonna flip it. Single crochet here so therefore this has to be a treble this time around. Do you see that? It's just completely opposite to each other and uh, in every revolution. So the next one is a single because it's a treble here. So it's just single treble, single treble and that's all this is. This whole pattern. So you end up with um, some faux popcorn and popcorn just means that it's kinda puffing out just like this and it really works out really kinda neat and really a lot of fun. So this is how you do the faux popcorn cowl. Enjoy this free pattern available on Yarnspirations.com for more free ideas and tips. Stay tuned here to the Crusher Crowd as well as Yarnspirations and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye bye.